So we're here doing the Bastards Council podcast. Welcome. I uh, well, I guess we should fucking introduce ourselves, right? I am uh, Justin Vin, the guitarist extraordinaire. You also forgot to say the one with the luscious hair. Ah, fuck mm, that. Yeah. It works all the all, time. All the chicks <laughs> go gaga on that. <laughs> all do they? Yeah. Uh, apparently they do. Uh, so, uh, why did we decide to do a podcast? I don't fucking know why. We just like to talk bullshit. We, uh, wait, I didn't introduce myself. I don't give a fuck. Well, <laughs> I am Jono, also known as... Ass Taxi. Nice. And, uh, we got here... I'm Ivy, also known as... The French Connection! <laughs> there you go. Or Cunt Sponge. Yeah. Or Cunt Sponge. Anything, depends what you do, right? So that means you're also, aka, known as... Clock lamp, yeah, which should have been cock lamp, but yeah, that's another story. <laughs> another, that's another, another story for another time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so we're the Bastards Council. Uh, we're actually a group of people, but today we're just three. We're gonna start this off. Uh, we're just gonna talk about a bunch of shit. We'll take it from here. I guess we shall. So, guys, what do you want to talk about? What brings life to your uh, receding hairline? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any receding hairline, all right? Uh, uh, cameras. Cameras. Tell they the add truth. 10 pounds and they recede five lines. Fuck, I must be massive. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I want to talk about generations. Oh, Generations? What do you mean? The, you know, like the baby boomers and the generation X and... The Generation Y, which n- technically became Millennials, but that's only one faction of Millennials. <laughs> fuck Millennials. Fuck you, Vin. You're yeah, a Millennial, you, all right? <laughs> and I technically, from what I've read, you're, you're born in what year? 81. 81? Oh, yeah, you're still Generation X. But some people will say that, no, Millennials start at 1980. Depends on who's fucking <laughs> counting it. You go to read any book about generations, and they decide arbitrarily that, you know, the a- the year starts in eighty one or eighty two or seventy nine or eighty. It doesn't make it doesn't make any fucking sense. And the U S. consensus or whatever the fuck it calls it only identifies one generation, and that's baby boomers, mm. because it's the only gener- size that y- uh, it's the only generation that will give you um, can be based off the the size of the people. But by I don't mean by weight. I mean by how many people were born. What about the weight? Yeah, uh, they're all pretty fat. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, yeah. So, baby boomers. Uh, I want to talk about the differences in generations and millennials. And um, because I am, uh, you know, right in the middle, I'm born in 90. I'm a fucking millennial. And I can't stand half of them. You don't just get everything for free because you're fucking alive. I fucking hate that. What do you have to say about that? So, when you're saying everything for free, you mean like socialism? Uh, Sort of? Like uh, everyone's equal? Yes, I guess so, but I know that Scan- it's working in Scandinavia from what I hear. It's not that it's not just that. I mean, <sighs> give an example. Okay, like in the workforce you're talking about? Yeah, just like I want everything, like everything should be fucking equal and we're all I guess it would be socialism. We're all fucking equal and it, unfortunately for life to work, there's got to be inequalities. So what do, what do you think about this? Well, millennials, they're quite different when we compare them to Generation X and Y, right? Okay, like so then compare yourself. Like, what do you... Well, me, I mean, born in 80, right? So right. so some book, I'm Generation X, others Y. But when it comes to work, you know, the main difference, uh, I think I'm on more the X side because I work for a business and I want to do good for a business. I'll do the extra hours just because it needs to be done, you know? Ger- Ger- Generation Y, they're going to do hours. They're going to ask you, what is it for me? You know, like overtime, blah, 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 blah. You know, like I think there's a big difference there, you know, like. Now that I would agree with because I am in that second, that, that later yeah. uh, uh, faction of people where I'm, I work for a company, yes, and I, I do all the, I do a lot of work and I yeah. work hard, but that's for me because I really couldn't give a flying fuck about the corporation other than that, it, like, it, unless I lose my job because of it. Mm. It's like, oh, they're not doing too well. I, I you, you know, to me, it's like, if I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the overtime. No problem. I'll do as much overtime as I need, but it's gotta be, you know, for a reason. It's not just because someone else fucked up. And yeah, if I'm going to do fucking overtime, I want to get paid for that fucking overtime. Mm-hmm. You know, that that's it. Uh, it I'm working for me because I want to go higher and I want to make more fucking money. I don't give a flying fuck if the corporation, you know, dies out or whatever. Yeah. I, I also am very loyal though, so mm-hmm. I will stick with my company more so because of the people I work with than necessarily the <sighs> corporation. 
Well, just think about the people that used to work, uh, baby boomers in the Jewish generation. Now they can wear things of their job. You know, like right now, a tire business. I wear yeah. tire stuff, and we're proud of it. You don't really see that with uh, millennials and all. Well, that. in the video game business. Well, video game business. Yeah, and, and, like I, that, and I would say in the adult entertainment business too. You know, people love the fact. <laughs> hey, I yeah, work well, at Mind Geek. Well, if really? you're really enjoying it before you work there, I can totally get that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm also more like you, Ivy. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll, I mean, yes, okay. Obviously, I'll be in. I'll, I'm a bit like both, where I am like, well, what's in it for me? Mm. But at the same time, I also think about the company. So for me, it's more like. Well, okay, I'm, I'll do the overtime. I don't care if I'm not getting paid those. Let's say like, if I do five extra hours, six extra hours, I don't really care. Like, I do it just because, like, well, I like where I work. I like the people. And I don't know. It's just, I just feel like if I do well, then it means the company's doing well, or at least that's the way I see it. But at the same time, if I'm going to do 20 hours of overtime, well, then maybe I'd like to get paid. You know, like 20 hours, I think, is excessive. But uh, Well, I, I mean, getting paid for me, it has less to do with getting paid. Like, if, if I'm like, some people would just get the hours back. Like you can take vacation hours with that. I'm cool with that too. It's it's still like I'm still getting paid. It's just not in my cash at the end of the, the two weeks or the week uh, or whatever. Yeah, you get I think paid. it comes with the territory, man. Depends the type of job you do. You know, sometimes if you do that twenty hours, you just got to do it. You know, you have a job to do. You have to make sure it's done, right? No, not for me, no. man. Not at all. I fucking hate that shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm you not know, just gonna I do don't it. Say I like it, 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 it <laughs> instead of just staying on this on the, on the work level, yeah. there's another thing about that that kind of bothers me. What about those people that okay? I'm not. I'm. I'm. You know. I like animals and all, but I'll never put an animal before a human. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Fuck I'm never do that. I so can't now, stand that. Th yeah. So I don't know where to, where to go exactly with this, but I, I feel like it's more of a, a your generation. A hundred percent, it is, man. Uh, so, so you don't. So do you put animals before us? Fuck no, man. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Fuck no, I don't. I like I, I. I am allergic to most animals to begin with, but I. I don't. I also don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't want to see them abused. But I like so. How do I explain this without sounding like a piece of shit? I don't. But you think are. That, I, I. I don't think that animals should take precedence over humans. I. I. I just don't. Oh, dude. When I, you know, I have a dog. I love my dog. Yeah. Right? Most of my pictures on Facebook, it's about my dog. But when I want my dog, she's the closest to the road. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's a car passing by, she's getting hit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, all right. So, I mean, in my generation, uh, let's just say a lot of the, like 100% of the women that I've slept with, they've all had animals. Like every single one of them. Um, not that I care because most of them I don't date. Uh, my current girlfriend, Erica, has two cats, but uh, I mean, cats. Cats. she loves her cats. Mm. That's that's cool and all. But I still think that like most like uh, that goes back to that whole people are idiots. Uh, Except me. No, no, no. The people as a collective are idiots. The one person isn't. So I'm, I'm not an idiot in your book. Uh, you can be. I can be. Yeah, I mean, fuck yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to give an example how would yeah. i i don't know like, dude. all right all right okay i got an example oh, so no. we're in wildwood oh, 2016 of course okay. wildwood we're in fucking course, yeah. wildwood 2016 all right 666 666 um Sixth year, that's we had a where great night of partying i mean we were fucking partying where's hey right. where's gino where's this gino? no one's gonna fucking understand that inside joke well it doesn't matter Yes, it does. Anyways, continue. Anyway, so we're in Wildwood 2016. We had a great night of partying. I mean, we were partying. We destroyed that fucking hotel room. I'm not even being like. <laughs> He's not joking. I'm not even exaggerating. We destroyed the hotel room. <laughs> but for some, for some reason, they still take us back year after year. So I, we had these two rooms, the debaucherous room, which ended up being my room, and then Jono's room, which was the clean room. <laughs> uh, so if you wanted to get some sleep, you would go to the clean room. I ended up going to the clean room because there were um, some... Well, undesirables in the room. Undesirables. <laughs> uh, and I just went to go to bed. I went Some to bed. I went like 3 or 4 in the morning, I went to sleep. Ivy was already knocked the fuck out. I woke up pretty early, and I was fucking hungry. I go, our buddy, our mutual friend, Dana, who's in the Bastards Council, he was awake. I don't know how the fuck he was awake, but he was awake. He let me into the room. On his laptop, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, he was on the laptop. Mm. So he lets me into the fucking room. I go in. I sit down. Everyone's asleep. I haven't seen where the beds are because the two rooms were separated by a wall. Keep in mind, I went to bed at probably 7 in the morning, and Armin did too. There's another guy. Basically, all these people that we're talking about are also in the Bastards, Bastards Council. Council. They're just not here now. Um, 
so it was like Armin, Jimmy, and Boris. Uh, but like when I got back to the room, Armin and I think Boris were still up. But anyway, yeah. So we went back. We went to sleep. So now. So ahead. now I'm talking with Dano. It's early in the morning. I still haven't seen the, the room where the bedrooms are or where the beds are. And I'm like, fuck, Dano. I'm goddamn hungry, man. I think I'm just going to go get something to eat. Dano looking at me. He's like, no. I was like, what do you mean? No, <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. He says, we're going to wake everybody up. I look at him. He looks back at me. He, I look back at him, and I'm like, you serious? He's like, yes. I was like, okay, let's do this. So we, we me and Dano got up. We tried to be as obnoxious as possible to get everyone up in the most rudest of ways. I, we had, like, a big speaker you can just, like, smack on the wall, and I tried to put the most obnoxious, loudest sounds ever to wake everybody up. Nobody even flinched. <laughs> so then I walk into the bedroom. <laughs> I see... <laughs> it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen, and I've I've toured before. Uh, I, I see the first bed, closest to the wall. I see Jimmy, another guy in the bachelor's council, sleeping normally. So his head is on the pillow, his feet are at the end of the bed. Then I see Boris. Boris is the complete opposite of Jimmy. His feet are on the pillow, his head is at the end of the, uh, the bed. And then I see Jono <laughs> in the fetal position, <laughs> just like... <laughs> position wearing booty shorts and no covers <laughs> and a shirt on and then armin this motherfucker <laughs> was wrapped up in a fucking white sheet like a goddamn mummy i swear to god i thought he was dead but he also had this really peaceful smile on his face <laughs> like he knew what he was doing i mean he looked like it looked like someone tucked him the fuck in and just to add to this i had gotten woken up at nine in the morning <laughs> from a phone call from somebody that i knew it was a uh, this girl that i work with her boyfriend had come down to Wildwood and knew that I was there, woke me up. So I let him into the room to pee. And then I said, yeah, man, I'm, I'm going back to bed. And I remember I was cold. I was in my underwear. I go, I go back to bed, and I'm like, fuck, man, it's cold. It's really fucking cold. So I'll, I tried to get the covers, and I'm like, I look at Armin, and I'm like, man, he's, the, he's wrapped in the <laughs> covers. I have no idea how he did that, but he was wrapped in them. So I'm like, all right, well, fuck this. I'm putting on a little T-shirt, but... I was still in my underwear. Let it go ahead, Vin. So, yeah. So I see everybody, and I'm trying not to laugh already as much as I, I mean, h as hilarious as this sight was that to see these grown-ass fucking men <laughs> fucking lying like little girls, especially Jono. He looked like he had a rough night. <laughs> so we're just like, okay, guys, get up, get up, get up. Jono responds. He gets up, and he's got, like, the Chinese eyes. It's like half moon. And he's like, uh, he says something hilarious. But because of the following line, I can't remember what the fuck he said, but me and Dana were laughing our asses off. So he goes and he says, I, I, need, uh, I need water. So Dana goes to the fridge, opens it up, yells out, uh, I'm sorry, man, we don't have any water, but we have some Gatorade. <laughs> Followed by Jono replying, I don't want beer. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you're an idiot, Jono. Uh, oh. That's just one example. That's just one example. That's just one that's example. Nothing. Oh, when you brought the undesirables, that was another idiot yeah, thing that was to another do. idiot thing. Uh, yeah, then what generation were they? Oh, they were uh, my generation. Yeah, yeah. 100% were my generation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were younger than you, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. Very but anyway, the undesirables especially, we won't, they will remain nameless. They know but who the fuck they are. They know who the fuck they are. But you know what? No. Nah. Compares to, to you again, and we will jokes. leave it there. We will leave it there. All right, we'll but there's there. one story about these people. You know how we all have iPhones, and these things are expensive, and we love them, and oh, we put face into them. You oh, know, yeah. yeah. But this you wasn't know? an iPhone, and I have to stress this was, was a Samsung. <laughs> oh, was it a Samsung? It was a fucking <coughs> Samsung. Uh, whatever. We have a cell phone, and we, you know, we love the, those machine, right? And we're on the what fourth or third? Floor we were on the something? fourth floor. Fourth floor, you know. On the and balcony. One of these two person drops a phone, falls in the street, fucking doesn't move. We're not even yeah. telling you. Gotta, you got to draw the story out a little bit. What The events that took place here, I, I have never seen before. <laughs> you know, usually... You know shut the fuck okay. up. Usually, you'll see someone fall, lose, drop their phone like at, at like hip height, and they'll freak out. Oh, no, oh, my I phone. Yeah. We're on the fourth story on the balcony. We're all drinking. We're all hanging back. We have loud music playing. This undesirable <laughs> picks out her phone, somehow doesn't put it back in her pocket, and it slides off of her pant leg. Jono and Armin were sitting right next to her. Phone slips off, off the balcony, and falls to the floor. And everyone's like, oh, my God. She doesn't react. She doesn't react at all. 
And then I think it was Armin who said, you know, that was your phone. And then she replies with, I oh. know. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so as soon God as she said that, Armin took off to go get this phone. Goes down the stairs. We're waiting. I'm like, holy fuck, a phone fell. That's that's gone. We're all we've already reconciled that this phone has been de- is demolished. It fell four stories. We heard it crack. We saw the pieces go flying. Armin goes. He picks up one, two, three. Runs back up. He's like, there's only a little crack at the end of the screen, man. Phone. Put the phone back together. It worked. It was a little fucking crack. Four stories off of a balcony. And I mean, I had my phone fell off my hip a couple weeks ago, and it's shattered. It fucking shattered. So. Fuck the undesirables because of yeah. that. You know, fuck those bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Fuck well, those bitches. Yeah. I would say one was more undesirable than the other. Yeah. Nothing compares to you. All right. Um, I think we, we talked <laughs> enough about millennials. Yeah. I think. Um, oh, there's a whole lot more that we'll touch oh on yeah, another yeah, subject. Another later. other subject. Um, uh, so I don't know. Um, you take metro sometimes? Oh, I take the metro. Yeah. So that's one thing I do. I take public transit. Fuck the bus. I don't like taking the bus. Hence, w- hence me living near a metro. I get into the metro in the morning. Like I basically walk out of my house. I walk to the metro. Get out of the metro and I walk out and I go straight to to work. Like it's very close and everything is great. I also take Uber, but that's another that's another <laughs> subject that we could probably get on another. Yeah, time. we'll talk. We'll but I'm gonna talk about Uber later. Yeah. All right. Uh, so. <sighs> the metro. So I find there's a lot of people that don't know how to fucking take the metro, especially in the morning. This now th- this pisses me off. Okay, <laughs> everybody's waiting to get in, but of course there's always people waiting to get off. Now I don't know anybody with half a brain. Why are you gonna go inside the metro while people are trying to come out? Everybody knows they even have it on the floor now. It's this blue and yellow thing where basically it it kind of points. It's like the people it, there's arrows that point to go in and an arrow pointing to go out. And the arrow to pointing to go out is basically in the center. And basically it says that, okay, if you're going to go in the metro, wait on the side of the doors. But no, people still try to go in. And then they get upset that there's people coming out. Like, you fucking idiot. You know what happens when I try to get out and I see somebody doing it? I purposely tackle them with my shoulder and I will just continue walking and pretend they don't exist. Fucking millennials. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably them, man. Uh, no, I, I've... I've <laughs> No, this I can't. No, I can't lay it. Uh, I no, find no, it's, it's a lot everyone, of people. It's, everyone, yeah. it's a lot of people. And and the fact there's where we live. What there's like 1.9 million in this fucking city taking a goddamn metro. I don't know how many take it d- per day, but I- it's enough to that you see it quite often. Especially the blue line. I'll say that the blue line has but the most of this shit. Are people are that much in a hurry? You know, like come on. You know, if you're that much in a hurry, take the metro before. No, that. You know what it is? You know, it's like a lack of courtesy. No, it's lack of courtesy because this happens with elevators too. It's like yeah. the elevator doors open and people are trying <laughs> to get in, motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get out. Can I I, I, that I that I understand. I understand oh. a little bit, a little bit more than the, the metro because, dude, you could see yeah, that's on true. the metro You're people right. are coming out. Right. On yeah, an elevator, sure. you don't know oh, if right. someone's there there or not. Like I can, I can let that go a little bit. Well, that fucking thing I hate with elevators is unless it's like you, a place you haven't been there, uh, uh, haven't been to before, or they just block off the staircases. Because I've worked at buildings where it's only for emergency uses. Someone who gets on an elevator, a full fucking elevator, stops, first off, stops the doors from closing, gets in. You see there's a whole bunch oh, of people Oh, and gets off the second floor? Yes. I knew it! Yes. <laughs> already there's a whole bunch of buttons. Oh, sorry, push the second button. It's like, why the fuck? It's a flight of stairs. It's not even two of them. Why do you do it? I work. I want to lose. About elevators, mind. man, if you get on the first floor and there's 12 stories and you're going to the 11th, Fucking go to the back of the elevator, man. Yes. Why people all fucking scram in the front of the door, man? Go to the back. You know what? You're the fucking last one leaving. Well, if they get that in first, get, because there's already people usually that get into the back. RC. We're yeah. talking about on the RC, the but lobby. Your obsessions yeah, yeah. with the sides and to be in the front right away. Yeah. Well, uh, but just I back to the metro there. for a second. Another thing about these people that run in, and it's always like anyway. I don't. Know, I'm. <laughs> it's 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 usually it's usually. Like this is nothing. This is not a, um, a sexist thing. It's just an observation. I feel like it's usually women that do this. It's usually I would say fifty year olds. I, w- I would go in around that age, where they run into that metro, and they have to get a goddamn seat. They have to, even if they're getting off in one stop. I've even seen this where a woman is right in front of me, and she's we're, this, we're already in the metro. She gets on into into the metro car. She gets on at this one stop. And I see her looking into the like the window. You could see the next cart, 
So the doors open. She runs in, goes into the next one, sits down. And I kid you not, the next stop, she gets off. Yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, man. So, no, I, I, I mean... I, I just don't I forego fucking sitting in an ele- in, a, in the metro. I fucking I, I don't sit in it. I have like even a twenty minute metro ride or subway for if anyone, you know, doesn't live here. Um and I usually just stand. In LA they call it a metro also. Actually that's even true. in so- Washington, remember? In Washington, that? Washington they call it a so metro. I usually do for real. I go back I uh, like on our metros we have like these little two windows at the back mm. and then there's like a space i just you know sit on that oh yeah, yeah nobody ever goes oh, there. on the green line yeah the yeah, orange yeah, doesn't yeah. have that yeah, really they have the two fucking seats at the seats. end yeah, yeah, yeah i hate that shit sometimes uh, you get those but i, I like those because you could be like this unless you're at the one where there's like where the um the the, the driver is then you're crammed on yeah the i always I go to like the back that. of them i don't go to the front yeah, what's your favorite seat i used to sit Near you know the what? Windows where you can go like yeah. Sleep, you know when you go. Uh, well, shit, the new metros are different, but they have an armrest. The new metros, like kind of like a, a groove in the metro, really? that's cool. But honestly, uh, the I new metros are that. cool. But for the most part, I don't sit on the metro. For the most part, unless I'm with other people and they want to sit, then I'll sit with them, whatever. But for the most part, even when there's empty seats, I just stand up. Anyway, fuck the metro. I I still like it over the bus. Another time we'll talk about it, some other shit. But right now, I think I've. Never mind. Let's go. Uh, I, I mean, at, at the end of the day, man, you know, you take the metro. Mm. There's a pregnant lady. Give her your oh, no, that's different. Friend. That's yeah, different. But dude, I've been in the metro and it took a little while before someone gives in because everybody waits. The other person is going to You know what? You want to get a, you want to get a fucking seat on the but metro? People I have no etiquette, man. They don't give a fuck. That's you know what? Thing, but I, this is happening to me. This is actually fucking happening to me. I was uh, it was a last year. Fucking Daniel gave me um, gastroenteritis. <laughs> I shook his hand to Piranha, and he gave me gastro. Was it the only thing? Uh, yeah, he gave me a whole bunch of shit, you know? <laughs> really? <laughs> so I'm attributing it to Dano because he told me not to shake his hand because he was sick, and then I ac- accidentally shook his hand. So the next day, it's like Christmas. It was perfectly timed because I had Christmas break. I had like two weeks off where I work. Um, and I get on the metro, and I'm starting to feel sick. I'm going home from the Christmas vacation, last day of work. I'm standing on there, and at the time, I lived on the South Shore, so I had to take the, the yellow line, and it's, a f- it's fucking long. It's like six minutes between stops, right? Yeah. You're underwater. So I'm, li- I'm standing on the back where, like, where the other doors are, and I start, like, feeling lightheaded, and then I start, like, almost hyperventilating. I'm like, okay, I just got to make it to the next stop, and I'll get off, and then before I realized it, I was awake on the ground. You serious? Yeah, I never yeah, knew yeah. about this story. Yeah, yeah. dude, I was totally. When awake was on the this? Ground. Last year? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, I didn't know about this. So I was totally awake. No, I was actually maybe two years ago. Okay. Um, I, I was awake on the. I woke up, and I kind of remember for maybe three or four seconds, I saw just black and white, and then I got the color back in my eyes, and I just saw a whole bunch of people surrounding me, like, and they they told me to sit down and everything. So I, I sit back on the chair, and apparently my. I, in my head, I was speaking correctly, but nobody understood what the hell I was saying. They asked me, <laughs> if, I, they asked me if it was diabetes. I was like, no, say it's not in grip. And they were like, I, the woman and the other guy was all like, uh, I didn't understand a word he said. But <laughs> I, I don't think it was because of my French, because uh, if you understood me now, it was the way I was thought I was yeah. saying it. So basically, um, the way to get a seat is fake uh, having a uh, fake fainting. I, I've actually fainted, and then but that don't actually don't don't fucking do that because I got to the next stop and then. The metro service dudes had to come and make sure that I was okay. And I was like, yeah, I just fucking I passed out. I, I guess I'm sick. What do you want? And then they let me go. Um, but, yeah, it was. Uh, Damn, okay, because I was going to no, Everyone fucking stares at you after. That, that shit, it, it, dude, it, it's ridiculous. Everybody was staring? Everyone was staring yeah. at me like I had a fucking plague. Like they thought they were going to, I'm stuck in this capsule with this guy. Let me the fuck out. Oh, <laughs> this you capsule. Never know, man. They're fucking weirdos in metros. Yeah. Man. You never it was like, can get it was like the it, intro man. to a house episode. Actually. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, man. Like, I was still talking about the metro, but I have one story. Like, I took the metro when I was younger, right? And I took it for a year, a few years ago. Uh, you guys know Pat? Strix, right? Yeah. Strix. Uh, Strix. Very close friend of mine. I have a lot of things, uh, a lot of stories with him. But once in the metro, we were, metal bar was called the Cobra back in the days. Oh, I remember that. And we were fucking drunk. And for some reason, me and Pat were just fucking pissed off, you know? So we were, me and him and one girl. What pissed you off? Nothing. Okay. We were just drunk pissed off. Oh, okay, okay. And we decided that Your we were going to destroy shit, you know? So anyway, Youthful so I had to take rage. a piss. I have to take a piss, so actually Pat had to take a piss, and I was holding the doors for him while the metro was running. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking awesome. I was 
in the back of Pat. I was like just holding the doors. I didn't see his dick, right? But all I saw was his piss going that way very quickly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, that was, so that was fucking awesome. And they had flowers, uh, flowers, uh, flyers everywhere. So we decided to put them into a pile and do a fire. <laughs> On the metro? <laughs> On the metro. <laughs> so we're pissing outside. We did a fire. And then after that, we, well, we ran. You know, we were kind of young. And we walked by Pat Old School and he said, you know what? I'm fucking pissed off. That was my, uh, my school back in the days. Blah, 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 blah. He was telling me stories. And then he saw a fucking garbage can. He was like, I'm going to fucking break a window. And, you know, at that point, me and him, we were like, fucking, like, let's fucking destroy everything. We didn't give a fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so Pat's fucking mad, all right? He takes a fucking garbage I can't can. picture Pat oh, mad. No, dude, that, that night was special. Pat is always like, hey, guys. Oh, yeah, he's the coolest you know? guy in the world. Yeah, man. I, I can't mean, picture him. But, I've known him for over 10 years. But that night, he took the fucking garbage guy. He's like, I'm fucking going to break a window. Why? He's like, man, I'm like, yeah, 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 you know? <laughs> he takes the fucking garbage can, start running, and it was fucking chained. <laughs> It was chained. <laughs> <laughs> so he started running. Like, ah, and then he fucking fell on the ground, you know? Fucking disappointment, man. And the garbage yeah, pretty much, course. like, held him back. Oh, dude, man. Amazing. you've never seen a guy fall like that. <laughs> 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 you know, you're going with full force, and a fucking garbage is chained. Anyway, so uh, that, that's my Metro story. Nah, it made me think of that. Fuck, I didn't know that those garbage cats were chained oh, to the I wall. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I'm sure that's not the first time that type of thing is happening. Oh, yeah, man, seriously. (laughs) Anyways, I I wish we broke that window. If only the Wildwood garbage cans were chained. (laughs) No, man. There wouldn't have been any broken glass. Why the fuck would you want them chained, man? They're like, chained, chained, chained. Fuck you. (laughs) And fuck you. (laughs) Chained. Chained. Okay, we don't want them chained because they were chained. How else are we supposed to cause destruction? I know, but I said, imagine what would have happened if they were chained. Anyways. Oh, man, there would have been another story. Probably all be well, <laughs> it would have been sort of like how I threw glass at Armin. Yeah. Oh, but uh, let's oh, save that for yeah. another time, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Just save it for another time. Um, you wanted to talk about something. Yeah, man. man you know, we're all we're little, we're all sport fans, right? I mean, we might not all like the same sport, but we yeah, in general like, we you do. Know, like, it, it goes as... I like boxing a lot, right? I like UFC a little bit. I watch a bit of hockey. I like hockey. You know, it's, I like al- UFC. it's always the same thing, right? You have those fucking pre-fight interviews. Then you have the fight. Then you have the post-fight in- interviews. Right. Know? Why the fuck they do post-fight interviews, <laughs> man? For the loser. For the loser. For anyone. It's the boringest shit ever, man. It's fucking boring. They always do the same thing, you know? True. 50. Let, let, you know what, guys? I want, us to, I want us to act a little. No, no, no. You know what? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I can... I can add to this. I want the post-fight interviews uh, for the loser. Wait, no, no. Let me why? tell you something. Why? Listen, why? I'll tell you why. It's useless. Okay, Fuck up. Wait, wait, let me why. just say one thing. Then mm, please yeah. Look, look. Okay. Let's Hockey's probably been f- televised now for 50 years, oh I would say. Maybe a little more than that. And I can guarantee you that if I watch a, 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 a post-game interview 50 years ago uh, for the loser, I'm sure they will still say, yeah, well, you know... Um, we needed to uh, to score an extra four goals, you know, <laughs> just so that uh, we didn't we wouldn't lose uh, four to four to one, you know. And it's like, well, no shit. <laughs> Seriously, you know, no I know. shit. I agree. I winners, agree. I agree. Like, oh, our our defense wasn't very good. Yes, well, we know that. So so basically, and then when they start saying shit like, oh, we just had to uh, score a, a couple of more goals. So you're gonna tell me that this tonight you were planning just to score two goals <laughs> and like, oh shit, guys, you know what, man, we should have no, scored another it, two. It, well, no shit. It's what do they expect? You know, it's like if all these guys are fucking trained to talk and saying the same fucking thing, like you're saying, you know, you lose four to one. What do they say? Uh, you know, like we try, we pass and didn't work out today. Uh, maybe next game we can for, uh, score a little more goals, so we're gonna win at the end of the day. Yeah, but guys, you do the you're match, forgetting you know, about uh, it. If we, the reason I want the post-fight interviews, man. especially for the losers, is because if we didn't have them, we would never have the great Mike Tyson with <laughs> his, you know, his banter at the end. Hey, Mike, so what happened with that fight? You're like, well, I broke my back. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Like, like you broke a vertebrae? No, spinal. You know, I went to the doctor, and the doctor said you, you broke my. I broke my back. <laughs> so, y- y- I mean, seriously, you're gonna have good golden shit like that. You're gonna take oh, that away? What? Good one guy. out of a million? The good guys are the ones you care about. I don't give a fuck if that Andres still has a post game fight. He's nobody. But if you get a funny guy talking all kinds of shit at the end, well, it's all good. Oh, no, it would be good. You would be good. It, like, nah, you like, like the guy. That, like one day, I would just like to see a guy. Thank you for that question. Guy, an honest guy. Yeah. That's what I want us to do, man. I want us to act and do a fucking real 
post fight. I think you can do this. Hey man, interview. you ever think about Jay swooping a jackrabbit? <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> All the time but in my spare time. <laughs> how would be like an honest hockey? You lose three to one. You know, like this is how I think it would go. You know, I think, Mr. Ivy. Yes. Um, what do you think of tonight's loss? Equip honesty. It's been four games, man. We're fucking losing. Fucking ask the coach. Why doesn't put his fucking best player in the fucking ice where we're losing? He's got more chance to score. He doesn't put it on, on the ice. You know what? You know why we lose? Why? Because we fucking suck, man. We don't play as a team, you know? And the day that we're going to play as a team, maybe it's going to work. Don't ask me what happened. You know what happened? They score more than us. You know what we have to do? We have to do score. We have to make goals. And we have to make sure our defense are good enough. Shit like this. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking stupid. It's like it in would fucking be stupid. boxing. Yeah. You know, it's always... Oh yeah, the uh, he's got the better night than well, tonight. I mean, uh, if we're gonna I'm gonna look forward if to we're gonna the act, revenge fight. I'll do some uh, acting. I'll be a post. Uh, I'm not I'll acting. I can't do anything. Uh, just fucking interview me then. I'm I'm a hockey player. All right. Do you want to do the real like a hockey player? Like you want to act the real way or you want to act like? I'm gonna act like it. I'm gonna act like if it was me. Like all right. It was you. So you you lost the game. All right. Yeah. The game was you, four you to ask one. Him. Four yeah, to one. Yeah. The okay. game was four to one, and I'll I'll be the guy that does the interview. Okay, go for it. And you're like the best player in the team. Sweet. All right. Perfect. Which it would it never could, happen. Uh, it could be, uh, listen, Ben, uh, it's been three games in a row. You guys lost again, uh, 3 0. Uh, what's happening? Well, uh, basically, the time runs out before we score more goals. And hold on, calm down. I wish and that would be happening. I had to take a piss midway. And I mean, you <laughs> ever try taking off all that padding and uh, trying to take a piss? You're just not going to do it. And everyone knows when you got to take a piss, you're going to play not your best game. Listen. I think there should be some cups so that we could piss in <laughs> midway through the game. Because I swear to God, 4-1 would have been 5-4. And you know what? Why aren't we interviewing the goalie? You know, he let all those four goals in. Hmm? But hmm? what is the goalie going to say? You know, it's always a uh, defense. No, I was talking enough, about me. Uh, but, you know. we, uh, I let one go in. You know, like, we need the, a guy to be honest. But you know what? Every time a guy is honest about these shit, three games later, he's not in the team anymore. You know? Yeah, like, what that's do you the expect? Problem. You that's lost problem. three to one. Camilleri. What are you guys going to do? Uh, maybe we should score three goals so we'll win tonight. You know? Yeah, no yeah. fucking shit. And I hate this. Like, I don't need to fucking see boring this. Shit, man. And, then, and then you got the guys that analyze the game. And it's like, man, you guys stop analyzing. And every, oh, Ed said it. Everybody knows what sh the team should do. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> knows what the team yeah, should yeah, do. Yeah, dude, they're a fucking they're a, a, a couch manager, dude. Yeah, anyway, fuck that. Uh, dude, well, yeah, uh, but I have nothing to say. To say. It's the same thing with fucking expert. music, man. Everyone thinks they're a sure. producer. And it's like, oh, they should have done it. They don't actually give ideas on what the band should have done they just like let's take metallica for example because everyone has something to say about fucking metallica oh man it's just not like their old stuff and then when they do their old stuff oh man it's exactly like their old stuff eh. <laughs> damned if you do damned, damned if you, if you don't. don't yeah and exactly it's like okay well what do you mean well i just i don't know man i just want them to do their old stuff you see you don't even have a fucking point to make all right i'm gonna we're musicians i'm a guitarist if i'm gonna be like i'll, I'll, I'll critique a little stuff it's like i wish that riff wasn't as long or i um I wish they would add a little bit of like a, a slower part to it, like think Pantera. You see, I can I can say my point. Like that's what I wish they would have done on this specific part in that song. But it doesn't change the fact that I like the fucking song. One part I didn't like, whatever. And if Armin was here, he'd be arguing oh, but left guys, and fucking right. Yeah, this yeah. is what I'm saying, man. You know. And I Boris thinks that Death Magnetic sounds like a shoebox. But when it comes to Boris music, lives in a shoe it's box. fucking different. <laughs> right? It's totally different. When it comes to music, you play music. Criticize, you get better, then you do a better song, right? But when it comes to a hockey game, yeah, they all try to do their best. They lost that night. You know what? Well, we'll fucking try to play better next game. Why talk about this for hours? TV, radio, it's fucking boring. Because it's because once you get the once you get the music <laughs> inside <laughs> your soul, once you get the game inside your soul, and you can talk about <laughs> post game interviews forever. <laughs> Well, dude, it's because in this city, boring. man, we have a shit, we man. have a in this city, we got a fucking you know we're, we have a hockey team. It's like a religion, man. So when they lose, it feels like we lost. No, oh, I I get, I get that. I get that. I just don't saying. understand the whole like oh let's interview the losers, dude. Fifty years they've been saying the same goddamn yeah, shit. Yeah, John the winners, here, even the winners, game no, no, after game, even the winners. Even the winners. Hey, we played fantastic. Oh, well, no shit. Bon Aujourd'hui, uh, on a fait des bonnes passes. Écoute, la rondelle a rentré dans le net. Uh, C'est pour ça qu'on a fait le début. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we were making passes, but, John, but you know, they if just they didn't have post-game fight, post-game interviews for losers, you'd never get interviewed. 
Guys, you know what? Vin, can I kick you off this podcast? I'm the one who started it. This is the first one. Yeah, yeah, but you I press record. Yeah. Actually, it's the second one. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's yeah. not talk about yesterday. Let's, let's not, not talk, about talk about yesterday. Anyways, all I'm saying is we should all stop watching that shit, and maybe one day it will be better. That won't do a fucking thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because there's always some fucking stupid idiots that's going to call and say, oh, you know what? Uh, I think you're so right. You know, like uh, it wasn't good enough. Uh, fuck that shit. You know what? Jono doesn't realize that he's also on camera because yeah. he's he's like trying to motion to me like, hey, what time is it? Like no, he's I not. Just like <laughs> I just meant. It's I just meant like. I just meant like I don't want this shit to get so long that people think it's, it's thirty-five minutes. Thirty-five. Yeah, shut yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah, up, it's man. Not bad. You know you shut the fuck up. Yeah, you, you know what? You want to tell everybody this? Just like a hockey game, if you don't like it, stop. Should we do a post podcast interview? Go ahead, please. No, no, no. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. All right. I want to tell everybody this, okay? Go ahead. <laughs> last year, last year, last this year. man was betrothed. Betrothed? What? what you mean? were married. Oh, oh yes, I okay. was. Okay. And then he just suddenly he's not. So suddenly he started mimicking my style. All right. He started tying the hair back. No, I always t- tied the hair. No, back. Not like that. Just not all the time. Him. No. Now, now, I, now I have a douche knot. Basically, it's the way I tell people that I'm a twat without ever opening well, my mouth. It, it worked, right? It worked. It worked. It worked 100%. You, you wear it with because, confidence, man. Because I know? wear it with confidence. Yeah, I, I don't wear it like all the hipsters in this area. I'm not you a hipster anyway. and I wear it. And I don't, I'm don't. i not a hipster and I wear it. I used to wear it when I had long hair, but Listen, in the shower only. <laughs> I, have to, I have to say this, okay? Because this is one thing that I, I guess would fit in my generation. We got the top knot. We got the fucking stupid, you know, I guess the, you would call it the man bun, even though it's just a fucking It's bun. a bun. Just because so a guy wears this doesn't. Anyways. So I get a lot of people <laughs> making fun of it. I'm like, you can totally, totally make fun of me as soon as you get late as often as I do. And then usually everyone would shut up. And then usually the last, really? All because of the hair? Yes. It's, it's only because of the oh, hair. The it's hair. only because of the hair. Because I the tie it up it. and then I let it down and then it's like a second surprise. It's a kinder surprise with two toys inside. Yeah. And I have to add to this, okay? Like, I've had my hair down. Yeah. Now, guys will always tell me, especially like, you know, metal Yeah, heads. it's always guys who are like, dude, why are you doing that no, for? No, 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 no. But wait, hold on. When I have my hair down, guys are always like, yeah, long hair, you know, whatever. And if I say, oh, I plan on cutting it, they're always like, no, 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 don't cut it. And I've noticed that if I approach a girl with my hair down, and we're not talking, like, I know there's girls that like lying. I'm going to say the general public. They're, general they, and public. Yeah, I've asked them, like, tied or down? They're always, like, tied. But now, the man bun, or mm. the, bun, the bun, this is different. It's everyone. Yeah. A lot of the girls. Even, now, I know, I get there's girls that don't like it, and that's fine. But I'm saying there's a whole other class of girls that like it. And then the fact that they normally don't like long hair. Yeah. But then when they undo the knot and it's there and they're like, oh, my God, your hair is so soft. It's long, whatever. They like to play with it. But then when they're done playing with it, you got to put it back in that bun. Because, dude, dude, picking up is a psychological it's thing. A man. Psychological it's a psychological thing. Dude, at the end of the day, I'm telling you guys, you know, when people used to ask me back in the days why I had long hair, not to shut them up, I say it's a sexual thing. <laughs> 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 but oh, it's dude, true, man. It's dude, true. Man. Like. My long, uh, long hair, or my hair specifically, yeah, it's in our group. It gets called out the most. That actually, I have yeah, you, nice you, hair. you, it actually comes out. Like you, you may look gay to me with it and all that. You look like Lars Ulrich in 1990. Actually, he does say this quite well, often. Uh, but, good, but man. you do the flip. Like oh, you're doing the, the flip. flip and I've heard girls tell. This is before when I first knew you and we weren't hanging out. <laughs> there's this girl that I worked with. Another one. I will. She will na- be remain li- nameless. And I don't nameless. think. I don't even remember her name. Yeah, because I never told you this story, actually. And I saw her talking to you, and, and she's like, I really think he's hot. I love that that little thing. It's kind of girly, but I love it. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, he always flips his hair one side to the left, then two minutes later, another side to the r- the other side to the <laughs> right. She's like, but he looks so adorable, and I love his hair. And it's really rare. It's you find thing, uh, really rare you find a girl that loves the guy with the long hair that's just down always. Sometimes they like it. But for the most part, they always wanted tied or whatever. They just like seeing you rock out with it, but then they wanted back tied. Dude, it's for you shows like and it's for yeah. sex, man. I'm telling you, man. When a girl, oh, they fuck don't that, dude. I always tie my hair during sex. Yeah, because oh, really, the rest man? of yeah, yeah, oh, it man. falls in their face if you're on top Maybe or we'll or like gets in the way. Topic, yeah. <laughs> the shit. For me, my hair, like, I think when girls are not used to long hair, but then they get in bed and they and they love it. Yeah, they love it. But dude, like I said, I like tying it. Basically, my whole style yeah. or <laughs> depends. <laughs> my personality, <laughs> my personality is built up off of trying to, you know, pick up. 
Yeah. Right. I'm not. You, I'm not you, a pickup artist. The king. But I, uh, I was the king. For the I wasn't a pickup time. artist, but I was a guy who was heavily made fun of. I used to be overweight, and my whole goal was I like that. I, it's not like I, I, I like. I love to bang, but it's more about getting it, like oh, that that re- reciprocation. Definitely. So, I built my my whole. Not, I built my look as I wanted to be. Uh, I'm like a heavy metal musician. I wanted that thing, but I also wanted to be different, and it ended up working for girls who were. I not really, not even girls who aren't even into it. Like they, it works for them because I tie the hair up, which is the current style. And then they would be like, "Oh, that's so cool." And then I'd let it down, and they would see how it flows. And the way I, you know, that flip thing that I do, it's all psychological. I do that because it draws attention to me. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. Yeah, hundred percent, it does. Okay. Um, one time I wanted to make fun of him. I'll say this. One time I wanted to make fun of him, and I was in the bathroom. That and I like I think I was texting with you or something and for whatever in reason, the bathroom just, no 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 <laughs> I was texting with him throughout the night then I oh, went I remember going it. I remember going to the bathroom and my hair was loose and I figured you know what I'm gonna make fun of that fucking idiot <laughs> yeah. and so I flip my hair to the side I, it was loose I flip my hair to the side I take a selfie and I look at it I'm like fuck that's actually not bad <laughs> and so I didn't send it to him and I, instead I put it on Instagram and I put it on Facebook and a whole bunch of comments oh and I even said something like don't you wish you had hair like this or something along those lines that I was like yes I want your hair and you and I want this and I was uh, looking at Instagram I'm getting all kinds of likes I'm like fucking Vin dude yeah. you See? I have a story to sell uh, to, to sell but uh, I don't think Rosemary is going to appreciate that oh. <laughs> but Two, three weeks ago, I was in the bedroom and I have short hair now, right? And I, sometimes I try to put them on the side. But one night, I don't know what happened, but my hair was all on on one side. <laughs> and she said, you have the Vin hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It was so awkward to have her saying that to me in a bedroom when I'm fucking <laughs> lying down in my bed and say, you have the Vin hair. I'm not going to say what happened after because I wish that's not what I think. <laughs> But anyway, it was it was funny, but you own that shit, man, and it works. I'm telling you. Yeah, I I, I know it works. So I, I know that people make fun of me as a, it's in jest, you know. They, they, they it's it's a friendly thing, that's for sure. But yeah. I I also know that I grade on some people, and those people who hate me will talk about that. Fuck you, I'm yeah. picking up, guy. I'm fu- I'm. Oh, I have a girlfriend now. I gave up king status well, and went to him, Jimmy, who we also gave up. No, no, I um, gave it up too. Jimmy, Jimmy gets the king status. Jimmy now. gets king status. Um, king status is. It's inside. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I it works, dude. It fucking works. And w- it's it's not that it'll work for everybody. It you have to have that personality. You gotta want that oh, fucking attention. You have to own it. You have to own it. And it works and for Jono. Yeah, and you have to act like you don't give a fuck. And it's pretty it's much. It's not it. acting like you don't well, give a I, fuck. At least dude. that's me. That's what works for me. Yeah, like yeah. I just pretty much act like I'm nice. Don't worry. Like don't get me wrong. It's just that I just act like hmm, whatever. You know what? In and life, I'm, guys, I choose. A lot of things work. When you just don't give a fuck. Yeah. I realize that about a lot of things. We talk about sex a little. Yeah. I, I've been better in bed ever since I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I got better in bed when I started giving a fuck. Yeah, I would say the oh same. No, man. I would say the oh same. No. At first, you know, you try to, I got to please, nah, 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 but the day I start stop giving a fuck and just thinking about myself, everything went well. Aha, uh-huh, we got a Johnny Come Quick over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I stop asking. That's interesting. <laughs> you know your old face. You don't. You never want to see your own old face. However, I had mine described <laughs> to me. <laughs> I've had mine described to me by a girl who uh, was a friend. We slept together, and she got on the topic of another friend that she had slept with, our mutual friend. And she was saying, like, "Oh man, when <laughs> 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 she was yeah, she was saying." <laughs> When when they were banging, he makes these weird faces, like he makes this like uh, <laughs> this, <laughs> this like <laughs> cerebral palsy tongue type of thing. <laughs> 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 and then I was like wondering, like, fuck, were you paying attention to me? She's like, yeah, but you you had like this sexy eyebrow thing you were doing. <laughs> Suavemente. <laughs> so I was like, she's like, it was hot to look at your facial expression. I was like, fuck, I wasn't even paying attention. Now, now I'm like aware of it. It's like if you're aware of your tongue, you're gonna start tripping over words. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thankfully, it hasn't. At least I hope it hasn't. Yeah, now that you effect. talked about it, yeah. <laughs> you never know. Hey, maybe you guys will too. You're it's gonna be aware there. of your facial expressions, and then John's gonna look like one of those girls in uh, uh, addicted to love videos. Hey. Hmm. Just straight says, face. Oh, he says I'm not like that already. Actually. <laughs> I, I know your personality. I had to pull. I had to pull a straight face, actually, but 
That's an uh, that's uh, uh, another topic. Bring it up at the next podcast. Why do we yeah. always have to bring it up and then oh, just no, don't no. run with because it, man? Because it's because at this point, if we're gonna talk about how loud we scream in bed, I'm not a big I'm not a big screamer. Just. <laughs> 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 I'm you just know what? I think it's time to wrap it up at this point. Man. Why the fuck we're gonna we're having so much fun here, man? You're having so much <laughs> no, fun. No, you finally. Do fun- I look like I have fun? You guys finally forgot that the mics were on and started talking like we're in a group, man. Yeah, well, we are. Well, in a group. Are we? <laughs> no, but you were talking like you were on a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is well, this. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, it's good, dude. It's good. It's good. All right. All so right. here's the Bassist Council wrapping it up. Remember, wrapping it up. Stick a finger up and give the fuck you to everybody. I don't like give a this. fuck who it is. And we're out.